and welcome back to English Idea. This is Rim Alam and I am back with a brand new video of how to speak. In this episode, we will be focusing on third topic which is time based and we will be finishing the last five questions of this topic. As you can see, I have finished the first 10 questions the previous two episodes and these are the last five questions for our topic time based. In the next episode, we'll be focusing on a new topic, which will be person. Now, before I proceed with my today's video, don't forget to give this video a like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new content. Without any further ado, let's start with our today's video. For the first question in our today's video, we will be talking about an important moment in your life. The first follow-up question is, when did it happen? The second follow-up question is, what happened? The third question is why is this important for you and the final question is did this affect anyone else so as you can see i have put down the basic ideas now before i proceed with the model answer i would like to give a quick um recap of the previous episode where i have said that when you get a question like this okay you can either you know use your imagination and you know make up a story and just put it down here or you can use your real life story and this is what i did i chose the second option whatever you see here what i'm gonna read here it has happened in my life okay what i am trying to convey here is that whenever in you know whether it's in duolingo or whether it's in ielts or any other proficiency exam that you give whenever you get a question you know whether it's like in writing section or in the speaking section you should always use either your imagination or you, should, you can also use your real life experience this is very important for everyone who's going to appear for their you know proficiency exams okay so now let's move on to the model answer which is my family and I were devastated after my father passed away and that's when my sister said that she had conceived. Therefore, the most important moment of my life was when my lovely niece was born. It was significant to me, not just because her arrival transformed me into an auntie, but also because she is my only sister's first child. We were looking forward to her arrival hoping she would replace the void left by my father. Alright, now let's move on to the next question where you have to describe an instant when you failed to remember anything crucial. The first question is, when did it occur? The second question is, what did you forget? And the final question is, what happened as a consequence of your forgetfulness? Again, I have mentioned my basic ideas, which I'm not going to read, but you can go ahead and read it by yourself. I'm going to move on to the model answer. Remember, you can either pause the video or you can mute it and read it by yourself. But I will be here reading it out loud for everyone else. So the model answer is, after a month on the job, I found myself running late and I was trying to hurry up, which caused me to forget to notify my manager that I would be late. Our office has a policy that allows you to be late if you notify them ahead of time. My coworker texted me about how upset my manager is, but as soon as I saw her, she reminded me of the policy and advised me not to make the same mistake. Let's move on to the third question, um, which is, tell me about a moment when you first used a new technology equipment, for example, a new computer or a phone. So the first follow-up question is, what device did you start with? The second question is, why did you begin using this gadget? And the final question is, how simple or difficult was it to operate? So the model answer is, I'm starting a new endeavor and needed a camera. So I went online and found the GoPro Max, which was required to make blogs. Even after reading the handbook, I was confused about how to use it at first. But 
as I used it more frequently and my friend assisted me in, in figuring it out, I quickly got the hang of it. And it has since become a piece of cake for me. Now let's move on to the fourth question for our today's episode where you have to describe an instant when you were bored while surrounded by others. The first question is when did it happen? The second question is what happened to it? The third question is what made you bored? And the final question is how did it make you feel? Go ahead and read the basic ideas. I'm going to move on to the model answer which is I recall being bored during the community's Christmas party, despite the fact that I was surrounded by many people. My friends and I were invited, but because they resided further away from downtown, it took them longer to arrive. I got there 30 minutes before them, which bored me considering I didn't know anyone at the party. I also tried chatting, but I was too timid to continue. Till they arrived, I had the urge to just get up and excuse myself, but I couldn't do so, knowing quite well that my friends would come after a set period of time. Okay, now let's move on to the last question of not only our episodes but also for the topic where you have to describe your journey by plane. Now, before I start reading anything about this question, uh, again, I'm going to remind everyone that you can either use your imagination for the answers or you can also your, use your real life experiences. And this is what I did. I used my real life experience over here in this in this one, like the fourth question. I didn't use any real life experience. This is completely out of my imagination. In all the videos that you have come across till now of how to speak, I have either used my imagination or I may have also used my real life experiences. Remember, while answering your questions, whether it's in writing or speaking, take your time, read or listen to the question with full concentration, uh, understand what they are asking for, and then either you can use your imagination or you can use your real life experiences. Remember to be appropriate and always be within the topic. If you do seem to get out of the topic, no worries about that. Try to come back, you know, make a U-turn and come back to the topic. So now let's move on to the first follow-up question, which is, was it your first time? The second follow-up question is, where did you go? The third question is, when did you go? And the final question is, describe how did you feel while you were in the plane? As you can see, my answers were simple. This is just my basic ideas. I, so now I'm going to move to the model answer. And remember, you can always pause or mute the video and read it out by yourself while I read it out uh, loudly for everyone else. So the model answer is, I've been flying since I was a child because I grew up abroad. So this wasn't my first experience, but it was my first visit to Singapore which made me excited. On July 1, I boarded a plane from Malaysia headed for Singapore. The total journey, including takeoff and landing, lasted roughly an hour and 30 minutes. The flight was nothing out of the norm, but I was excited to finally arrive in Singapore. And that's the end for my today's video. To watch more videos like this, don't forget to give a like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new content. If you're interested in talking to me one-to-one -to -one via Zoom call, then send me a super thanks and I'll be reaching out to you in order to set up an appointment. During that appointment, you can talk to me starting from your dealing or doubts to your journey to abroad. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!